Hi, and welcome back to Neural Splendor. Today we're going to look at how to set the overhead on an ISX15 CM871. That engine has uh, injectors that are mechanically actuated, it has valves, and it has engine brakes. Here in this video, uh, you'll see how to do that. This photo, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, those are the numbers of the cylinders. This is an inline six cylinder engine. Up on top, you see the firing order. You always follow the firing order when you're setting the overhead. Here we have a close up of uh, one cylinder's actuating mechanisms. You've got the Jake up on the top there, and this is looking from the injector side of the engine, which would be the um, driver's side of the engine. You've got the Jake brake. EX is exhaust valve, IN is intake valve, and then of course the injector rocker lever. So all four of those needs to have an adjustment made on them. Here we are actually setting the overhead. You'll see this in a video in a second. And uh, if I was going to have an engine built, this would be the guy that builds it. I worked with them for probably 22 years now. I would venture to say he's built over... 150 Cummins ISX engines and uh, a lot of other different engines. Def definitely top-notch guy. Okay, here we go into the video. So the first thing we're going to do, we've got the engine barred over to a letter setting. We've got A, B, and C. Those are your marks you use. A is 1 and 6. B is 2 and 5. C is 3 and 4. So you line up one of those marks. Doesn't matter where in the firing order you start. He's setting cylinder number four right now. So the next is going to be number one. And he just torqued the injector on this particular engine in CPL. That is torqued to 70 inch pounds. It doesn't matter that we use the click type torque wrench. You don't need a dial on this because you're seating the injector down and so the click type wrench works just fine as long as you're careful with it. Now that the injector is set, we're going to set the valves next. It doesn't matter if you set the injector first or last because it's on a separate shaft. It's not preloading anything. It's not lifting the shaft up. So you can set these in any order you want to set them. Uh, this fellow uses the same procedure on every cylinder so he doesn't forget anything. He also paint marks the nuts when he's done, he also goes back and checks all the nuts before he's done. If you leave a nut loose on the overhead, it can be bad news. Uh, you notice those shoes that are between the rocker arm and the lever. Those are balls in sockets. Those should never come apart. If they do, you got to replace them. If they go, if those shoes go up and down a great amount, you should replace them. Uh, we tighten when we do the valves. We snug them down because. That way we push any oil film out of there, we get a much more consistent set. The more accurate your valves are, the better the engine will idle because at idle, you don't have that great of an airflow exchange because you don't have turbo boost helping you. So consistent valve sets are, and injector sets are one of the things that help the engine idle smooth. Uh, with a computer, the computer can make up for a lot of mechanic error, but you still want that setting right and you still want to double check all your nuts when you're done to make sure that you didn't leave anything loose. Here we're setting the Jake. That's a 7 millimeter shoe for this engine. And the crosshead has a pin in it. And we are going between that pin and the Jake lever. When the Jake's actuated, it only opens one valve. You can see to the right there that valve at the bottom of the screen. That valve doesn't get moved. Just the one in the back because that crosshead's got a hole drilled through it. When I identify parts in another video, you'll see that. Now we're barring the engine over. You can see things moving, and we're going to go to the next cylinder. So we are on cylinder number one right here. So that means we just finished which one? That's right. We've just finished four because firing order is one, five, three, six, two, four, one. So on the damper, one and six are A. 2 and 5 are B, and 3 or 4 is C. That doesn't ever change. So when you bar the engine over from the front, 
If you're looking at the front of the engine, you're always turning it clockwise when you bar it over. And then when you're done, you always go back and recheck all your torques on your nuts. The, uh, I believe the injector hole is an eight millimeter Allen for the screw. The valves I think are six and the Jake hole is three. And here's our damper lined up with the mark on the cover. If you're off a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch either way, I don't think it's any big deal. Uh, just make sure that you've got the right marks. If your damper is pretty rusted like ours, you can go back and look at my damper video to figure out where your marks are. Good luck. See you next time on Neural Splendor.